All right, folks, today I'm gonna to tell you how to update the software on your ArcDroid. Simple Trace is the ArcDroid's main functional software, and we come up with updates from time to time. Sometimes we add new features, sometimes we improve old ones, but you wanna be able to keep up to date, so it's pretty easy to do. You're gonna need a USB stick. It needs to be formatted in FAT32, which means it probably needs to be 32 gigabytes or smaller. Cheap Chinese one will be fine. You don't need to do any, you don't need to get anything fancy. But once you've got it, clean it out, make sure that it's formatted properly, and then you're gonna to need to download the firmware from our website. The two that you're going to want are the main Simple Trace firmware and the main control firmware. Simple Trace is the big one, it goes on here. You're gonna to need to unzip all of the files and put them on your USB directly so that they're in the main root directory. There shouldn't be anything else on the, on the USB stick. Here's how you do it on both Mac and PC, because they're a little different. But once you have the files properly moved over onto the USB, then you can get started. All you need to do is plug it in and hit the reset button. It'll be very obvious when it updates, the screen will first go red, and then it'll go through a series of updates, including updating all of the icons and images that we use on the machine. It'll take about four minutes, but once it's done, it's pretty easy to check that it's been updated. Simply go into settings, tap the ArcDroid logo five times, and then you can choose version info, and that will tell you the dates in which things were updated. In this case, the system, and Simple Trace have two separate dates. That's fine, you want the most updated one, it will always be on our website for download. All right, now that you've updated Simple Trace, time to update the main drive firmware. Less often for these updates because we've got this one pretty well nailed, but occasionally we'll update in order to, you know, improve motion control or improve individual uh, aspects of the way the ArcDroid works. In this case, you're gonna need a much smaller device. You need a micro SD card. This should also be formatted in FAT32 FAT and should be probably less than 32 gigabytes. So clean it out, download the firmware off the website, very small file, put it on the SD card, insert the SD card in the slot in the side of the machine, and then just hit the reset button, same as before. Now in this case, there isn't as much of an obvious indication that it's updating because it happens so fast. What you're likely to get it's just as it comes before the boots, you'll get a busy processing error. That tells you it did work. So you can check that by using the version info by going into settings, tapping the ArcDroid logo five times and checking version info and seeing if the date has been updated on your firmware. It's pretty easy to do. Now you've got both your simple trace and your main firmware updated. Keep an eye on the website. We tend to update these things every month or two. You never know, we might come up with a feature that you need.